Hey, what's going on YouTube? I just wanted to make a quick tutorial to show you how you can go from angles to calculate the six major trig identities. Sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. So here we have some angles, um, zero going up by 15 to 180. And first thing before you can do these calculations is you need to convert your angles into radians. There are two ways you can do this. First way is to multiply by pi, then divide by 180. So in Excel, that looks like you can do either equals um, 3.1 for 159, or you can do, use a pi function, open and close parentheses because there's no argument, or equals, sorry, the angle, times open parentheses pi, and then divided by 180. And you can call control C, shift, down arrow, and then control V. And then here you can see the radians. Um, or by multiplying by pi divided by 180, or you can actually just use the radians function. So so it actually has a radians function, R-A-D-A-A-N-S. So open parentheses, or you can just press tab. The angle right here, which I would use if you have Excel, a new version of Excel. It's just cleaner and easier to use, and you can see it gives the same value. And, um, you know, part of this video is kind of just making you aware that these functions are available. They're very easy to use. So to do sine, S-I-N, and there, and one thing to note, just as a side note, there are different versions. So sine refers to the sine of an angle. S-I-G, S-I-N-H returns the hyperbolic sine of the angle. I'm not a math major, but A-S-I-N, um, as you can see, they're different. I'm not, I'm going to be honest. I'm not familiar with what these different variations are, but I just want to point out that there are variations. Um, is kind of highlight through them. Sine of a complex number, hyperbolic sine of a complex number. Um, they're different variations, and the variations are kind of seen in the other ones as well. So open parentheses, and then there's just one argument, which is the radians. So, Close parentheses, control C, control V. Um, just kind of iterate that the the in, the input is in radians. Same thing with cosine. Again, as you can see, there are different variations. This one just can use cosine, and it is radians. Control C, shift, control down arrow. Tangent, same thing, equals T A N. And as you can see, there are different variations of tangent to calculate as well tab open which tries the function and the argument is the number um, radians control C shift control down arrow control V equals take it same thing SEC um, and you see there are some different variations as well not as many variations in the sine cosine and tangent but there are some different variations as well And similar, the input for the sync function is the number radians. And going back down, same thing with cosecant, CSC. As you can see, there are a few different variations of cosecant as well. Um, tab with open parentheses, the one input is a number, which is radians, close parentheses, and And same thing with cotangent. Control C, shift, control down arrow. Control V. And there you have it. So the this so is to kind of reiterate. Um, here you have angles, and you have six major functions that you can use to calculate some trig identities: sine, cosine, tangent, secant, cosecant, and cotangent. They are fairly basic functions, but one key kind of caveat is that the input in numbers has to be radians. So, that, and with radians, you can do um, multi times pi over 180, or you can just use radians function. So, with that said, I just want to say thank you for watching this video. Hope you found this to be useful. If you have any suggestions, let me know in the description below. And please do me a huge favor and like, subscribe, and comment. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or concerns. Leave a comment below. It really helps a lot. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day.